Anjal. Okay, there we go. All right. My rating's so low right now that I gained seven for a win. So let's let's play some blitz. Thank you so much, Nikita Fish, for the three dollars. Play Bishop G seven. Let's go A six. Maybe D five, D six. Let's keep rolling. I'm gonna play C five here. Um, chat, why are you watching this guy play meaningless games? Yeah, it's totally meaningless, right? Totally meaningless games. Yeah, remember these are meaningless games. Exactly. It doesn't matter what I do, you guys, because it's just meaningless. Rating doesn't matter. Nothing matters. It's all just meaningless. Yeah, it's meaningless points. Like if I if I lose twenty points, it's all meaningless. Play Knight of Six here. Yeah, it's just meaningless. That's just the bottom line, you guys. <laughs> it goes Bishop G5. I could play H6 here. Um, I think it makes sense because if it takes, I just I can just take and take on E5. I also have E5 here. Okay, it goes Bishop F4. Castles is a move I can also take, but I'm just going to play E5 and take and castles and play Rook E8 and go from there. <clears throat> Ikar, you're 38, not 16. What's that have to do with anything? Um... Play Rook F8. The music's too low. Let me turn the music up. Um, I don't have a good position here, actually. My position's pretty ugly. I'm going to go Rook 7 maybe. Maybe Rook B8, Bishop C6. I also have Knight 8 maybe, and Knight D6. Thank you to Chuck for the 35 and Fang Duster for the 100 bits. Thank you so much. Knight of D2, logical. I think I'm going to go, like, maybe Rook B8. Ideas like B5 abound here. Maybe Knight D6. Because knight c4, I just take the pawn. Knight d5, I just take. I don't love my position, but if I can get b5 in, I might be, be okay here. Which browser you use? I use um I use Brave. Maybe I'll go like knight c maybe I have knight c8 here, and then like b5. I think I'm gonna go b5 and like. <laughs> maybe knight f6 back to hit the pawn, and we'll see what happens. Why don't I use Opera? That that is a good. That's actually legitimately a good question. I don't like what he's doing. Uh, if I go C4, takes. I just take. I get Bishop C6 or Knight D6 back. I think I'm actually okay now. Yeah, the worst is gone. I've got Knight D6. He still has B3, but I think I'm okay here. Um, trade. There might be a sack on E4. There's also B4 here. Yeah, I think I'm going to go B4, trade the Queen's take, and then put pressure on the Knight. Let's take, hit the Knight, hit the Pawn. Should be pretty good here for me. Diving. I should be better. Um, just take and take. <clears throat> Wait, did I just blunder? Wait. Go here. Got to be very, very careful. I bishop f8 to hold everything. Tricky position to play. I am up a pawn here, but it's very tricky. But I really shouldn't worry, of course. Yeah, the, the key is to stay calm. Thank you to Alliance on works 20, 28 months. Appreciate it. I do have rook c8, maybe. Rook c8, no, rook c8 is not a move. Yeah, 4 is not a good move. E4, f5, knight f5 doesn't look right. 94 is a move here. Um, spending too long. I've got a move. Um, I think I play here. Take and take. I should be okay now. It's going to be hard to win this, but I am up a pawn in this end game. I guess I'll go here. Whoops, he blunders the pawn, and now I should win the game. I think I should go here and keep peace on the board and go like here. There's like rook g3 maybe. Go here maybe. Still very hard to win this position. Uh, I'll go here. I could have maybe, no, I couldn't take the rook a4. Okay, I assume if I sack the rook, this should be winning. I mean, I have three, I've got three pawns here. Okay. 
Yeah, with three pawns, it's just, this has to be winning. G3, and I mean, there's no way to lose. I've got block and G2 as GG, why not? All right, good first game. Let's keep going. Thank you to Johnny Juhu for the, and Anna Edelson for the tier one. Thank you so much. Go E3, maybe Bishop B2 here. This guy destroyed Levy in title two. He said, this guy's very good. He's a very, very strong player. He's Armenian. He's like, his name's Haram Hakopium. He's like uh, a very, very good player. Really, really good player. Let's go here and trade, I guess. Did, oh, he won title two. I forgot. Yeah, he won title Tuesday as well. Go C4 and take. Yeah, Aram Hakopium is his name. Yeah, strong player from Armenia. Very, very good player. Goes there. I guess I'll take and play like Queen B3 maybe. I should have maybe gone Rook C1, but who cares? Takes with the Queen. Interesting. Um, that's actually yeah, that's a move I did not seriously consider. Let's play this like a. Uh, hmm, I was gonna play this like a Carlos Magnuson, like Queen B3 or something, but I don't know if it's actually good. Maybe it. I think it's fine. Let's play Queen B3. Oh, I did. I just wait. No takes. I can take and go Rook D1. Oh my gosh, I, I very nearly just blundered the game away. I'm very lucky. I worked. Oh yeah, yeah, so bad by me. Um. Wait. Okay. Let's go here. I guess. Uh, very, very bad. I think he's gonna show one inch. One inch wonder for the tier one. Thank you so much. Damn, are we still on? It's almost 8 p.m. Indeed we are. It was King F8, which looks very dubious to me. I mean, I have Knight C4 maybe. And then Knight B6 or H3. I mean, this looks very wrong. His queen is very iffy on B on D5 here. Um, Knight H4, maybe just H3 is good. And I have G4 here. I also have Knight H4. I should be better somehow. Um, let's see. Thank you to Jose Martinez for the raid with 84. Thank you to Jose Martinez. Okay. I mean, I have G4, but it doesn't look right. Let's go here. Keep it simple. Or watch the show. Goes Rook D8. Let's trade. I think I'll play Knight E5 here. Now G4, a very serious threat. I mean, maybe I G4 again there, but I think this is very dangerous. Queen B1, I just go King H2. But I feel like I'm a little bit on tilt. Maybe tilt's wrong, but I'm a little bit iffy. I'm missing some basic tactical ideas in these games. And it's a little bit scary. Like, I, I, I didn't see this at all. Do I have Bishop D3 to trap the Queen? Wait, Bishop D3... Where does this queen go? Bishop e5, knight e5. Ah, uh, and queen e1. But still, but still, he's going to have to take. Oh, did I have knight d7 and bishop g7 with a fossil? Oh, oh no, I no, it's pinned. What am I smoking? No, it's it's pinned. I'm, I'm stupid. It's pinned. What am I smoking? Oh, yeah, yeah, that was bad. What am I smoking? <laughs> it's pinned. What is wrong with me? Okay, let's go here and queen c5, I guess, or knight d7. I mean, queen c5 is a big threat here. Thank you so much to Jack SDM for the three months. Thank you so much to Jack. Yeah, queen g6 or bishop g6 makes sense. Um, I should be close to winning somehow. I think I'm going to go check maybe uh, i should have gone queen c7 first but yeah what am i doing i've misplayed this too i guess i'll take let's play a game of bishops versus biscuits maybe bishop c2 we'll go here and maybe f3 it was queen d5 now i could play as like a magnus carlison this is very reminiscent actually i had an end game against magnus was very similar to this with two bishops versus two knights and i had double g pawns too so this this, this is going to be fun to play i lost a tragic end game against magnus in the um in the uh what was what you call it in the london chess classic many many years ago in this exact end game let's go here yeah it was very tragic i lost a very very similar end game to this it was two bishops versus uh two bishops versus two knights that's a good move. Um, I 
Yeah, I expected that. Um, did I misplay this slightly? I think I did. I could take and play e4, actually. But I don't want to. I think I'll go here. Oh, I'm, I'm low on time also. Wait, I just realized I'm low on time. I got to move quicker. Let's take. Just take an H5, H6 wins. I can just check and take. This is easy. There we go. Let's keep going. Two out of two. You have 10 seconds more. Yeah, but my time usage was not wonderful. Let's play knight f6 here. Let's go b6. Bishop b7. Uh, do you know she became better in classical chess but worse in rapid the last few years um i think the problem with rapid is i, I struggle to find the right sort of time balance that's the problem I, I struggle to find the right time balance and it's very it's very tough for whatever reason um okay i believe castles is correct and then c5 if i remember this line correctly i could have taken on c4 too i'll take jacket do I ever play 10 minute games sometimes? Do I stream other games? Sometimes I do. Yeah. Yeah, my general read of that interview is that it I don't feel like anybody really comes comes off looking good. That's the bottom line. Oh, uh, there's knight six, there's h6. I think I'm just gonna go rook c8. That's my that's my general takeaway. Is I, I just feel like nobody really comes off looking good out of it. Um yeah, I can take with the queen and take with the pawn. I mean, it's very dry. I can also try to get away with knight takes e7. I'm going to try to get away with this. Because knight f5, I can go knight d5. I'm going to try to get away with this. It might not work, but I'll try. Knight b5, I have knight d5. I might be losing here, too. It's always possible I'm just losing somehow. We'll see what he does. He goes bishop b5, which I really don't like. Um... Yeah, now after a6 and knight d7, I'm completely fine. I should have very limited worries. Okay, again, not a good move. Now I now I finished my development, and now I should have literally zero issues. Let's just go here, I guess, and trade. Of course, I should have traded and got knight d5, but whatever. Let's go here. Play h6, maybe b5 here. Hard to prove anything here, but I should be fine. And play knight g6 here. I can also go knight d5. I mean, main problem I have here is how do I try to win this game? That's the main problem I have. Um, spending too long. Let's go knight d7. It's not a good move either. I'm trying to get my knight to maybe c4 or something, but... Here. Because knight e4, I have a5. Or not. Wait, a5, queen a5, and I blundered. Knight e5. Knight e5 at the end. No queen eight. Rook d8, king h7. Um, I have to think for a second. King h2, knight e5. Rook d8, king h7. Takes, takes. I'm going to go for it. Let's see. So I, I think... Okay, I'm going to go for this. Let's go check, and then I'm gonna play 95. I mean, maybe I'm blundering something here. We'll see. We'll see if my calculation is right or wrong. I think my calculation is good, though. We'll see. Check, I go here. But now I can take and take, I believe. Yes, play f4, I take. Check here, queen e4, I have king f6, and I'm holding the two checks. I mean, we'll see if I'm right or I'm wrong here, but I think I'm right. I'm also threatening mate. 
tricky position here for both sides very tricky go here yeah like queen e4 I go king f6 queen g2 I go king f6 as well now I just have g6 and now there's like queen b1 and I'm actually I don't know who's getting made it someone's getting made it here and I don't think it's me so if I go queen b1 check king f5 check king e4 maybe I'm wrong do I have queen e2 maybe I think I'm gonna go here go here Oh, why did I do that? That was ridiculous. Yeah, I have to make the draw. Yeah. I can't risk it. If I if I if I if I risk it and lose, that's GG. Like he he's still he still has eight seconds. It's way too risky to go for it. Let's play C3 here. Go here and D3, I guess. I also have knight g5 here but I, I'd rather just play a simple game of chess like a3 and b4 simple chess castle play rookie one it's also b4 as well I assume I'll play b5 I'll drop back probably he'll go d6 here if I had to guess but he could play something else too um let's just go here and trade and play knight bd2 one thousand dollar scholarships yeah but I mean it's it's what it is like you shouldn't you shouldn't belittle it either like in all in all seriousness like it is something that is con contributing or contributing to chess so like e even if you think the the monetary amount is a joke it's still something that does contribute hopefully to chess play knight of 193. uh it goes a5 I can trade if I take I mean I think I take and take so if he takes with a pawn I mean it's it's still playable but it's I think I'm gonna go I'm gonna go a4 and then like maybe Queen c2 seems fine because b3 I can go Queen b1 and if I get the Knight to c4 it should be pretty good run away I assume Knight bd2 and Knight c4 has to be correct although I have to go rookie three should have gone Knight e3 and rook d1 that was just better Yeah, 93 is definitely better with rook d1 but that's what it is it was rook b d8 which looks slightly dubious to me because now on takes there, there's never a b3 id anymore so now I can put the knight on wow okay let's play h3 I guess I think I can just take and go rook g3 but let me double check this takes takes here queen g7 h4 yeah I mean that's just a blunder I go rook g3 and h4 and I'm just winning I think he's on tilt oh we can move the king though oh great he can move the king and I'm uh, I still have queen d1 maybe but that was ridiculous by I me mean, why did I play this queen d1 oh my gosh I'm now I'm starting to throw this so hard hi yeah yeah um what do I do here I guess I'll go knight b3 and like no I just bungled this that's a mistake though because now c5 is hanging I also have g3 my chances are improving they're still not very good but they are improving okay, of course I go back I'm gonna play g3 sooner or later but I wonder if I can somehow go d4 or something I'm gonna try it hopefully it's playable if I get d5 or d5 I mean it's getting messy and I have g3 later I take I mean it's still bad but of course I take and take I 
I have chances to save the game now, at least. Of course, I should play G3, kick the bishop. Uh, probably rook D1. No rook D8, because that hangs the pawn. Queen F3. I mean, I also have H4 to kick the bishop. Yeah, this position's improving immensely. Now it's not clear at all whether I'm even going to lose. Okay, Queen C6, very, very good move, actually. Very good move. Um, let's go here. Takes, I can just take. Or play Rook D6. I should save the game now. Uh, Rook A1 should be fine. I'm going to just play Queen F3, and there should be a draw. Well, draws are only minus two, so I don't care. I don't care about draws. Um, yeah, whatever. I'm not. I'm not even gonna waste time. Let's just end this meaningless game and move on to the next one. Um, okay, let's play a six this time. Something simple. Let's play a ceiling. They need a co concubine for 35 months. Appreciate it. free rook from is just a draw. Wait, queen e one. Wait, what? Wait, what? What do you mean? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! What the heck was? Oh my god! Uh, what was that? I don't know what I was even thinking. What the fridge was that? Holy bejesus! That was bad. I think I'm just going to play here and take with a pawn. I could go C4 here. It's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, I think I'll go C4 here. And if D5, I'll play E5. That was really bad. I didn't even see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go. Um, do I go Queen C7 as a question? Or do I play F5? F5, D5 looks messy. D5 doesn't look right. Queen C7 does look right. Okay, but now I just that. I mean, I have a couple options. I can also I can play d5 here. I can play f5. f5 d5 looks very very unclear. I can also play knight f6. Um, I actually like knight f6 here just to put pressure in the center. I'll go d5 here. He plays e5. I have knight d7 back. Maybe h5. I mean, decision's not the dream, but it's playable. Thank you to Feather 2K for the 26 months. Thanks for Feather 2K. It was b4. I can obviously trade the pawns here. Um, I can also just play h5, maybe. A4, logical move. Not really sure whether a4 is a good move or a bad move, actually, in this, this line. Because at some point, I think the pawn's going to become a weakness. Like, a bishop f8 and knight f5, maybe. Go here, or maybe bishop f8. Uh, is that a free pawn? 95? Wait. I'm going to go for it. I don't know. We'll see. If he takes, I just take with a rook. If he takes, I take, take, and then I get the other knight to d5. I mean, it looks scary, but maybe white's okay. I probably should have used more time before blitzing the move, but I still think it's good. Okay, so he goes for it. So, of course, I trade. Okay, I assume I go 97 here. And then 95. Because 94, I have queen. What am I doing? Again, I'm just getting stupidly careless for no reason. I should have checked and then played 97. I played the wrong order, but he misses it. 94, I think, was winning for him, but he missed it, thankfully. Thank you so much. To Rojo pokes uh, your Ojo with the prime. Thank you so much. Imagine winning title Tuesday to be adopted by Hikaru. Yeah, although you guys saw, we did the Rosen score the other day, and we have 524 adoptions, I think it is, which is pretty pretty amazing, eh? Uh, now, I want a castle, but I also feel like I need to start pushing the P up the king up the queen's side. Yeah, I think I can always castle. I just, I don't know if it's right. I think I'm just going to keep pushing the P. Let's push P. Push and P, not to be confused with Lies of P, which is a great game, by the way. I really like Lies of P. Um, I guess I'll go here. I don't know where the queen belongs. So I'm going to put on b6 and just keep pushing the p. Push p. 
Okay, now I guess I will castle. Or did I just blunder up? No, I've got queen b3, thankfully. Should have played queen b3 right away, but it's still good enough. I think someone should camp over the prime is something, uh, something heaps random for the gifted sub. Thank you so much. It's too slow here. So if I win this game up to a 3180 or something. Um, go queen b3 here. Try to trade the queens. Let's take. I think here I can go like, there should be a way through. Maybe like rook c8 and rook c2. There should be a way through. He goes, but now I just go here. Yeah, he just resigns. I mean. Play knight f3, maybe. I guess I'll play c3 and d4. Actually, no, let's play the same line. Let's go here. Okay, let's castle. Play like a3, b4 again. Same thing. Let's go b4. Okay, knight bd2, of course. Rookie one, knight f1. This is actually very much like a um, Spanish now. It's turned to a very typical Spanish. Let's go here. I also had bishop d... Wait, maybe I had bishop d5. But I'll just go knight f1 here, knight e3. I mean, knight e3. Very standard stuff so far. Did we already, already do the interview? We already covered it. Yeah, I, I gave my thoughts on it. I mean, I think I think my thoughts are pretty much in line with what I suspect most people think, which is strange interview. Didn't really... It felt like nobody came off looking good. It just seemed very, very, uh, very strange. Um, I guess I'll trade and go bishop d5. Yeah, my general take is that no one came off looking particularly good. Guys, I am better than Haram, Haram Hakopian. Yeah, Hakopian. Yeah, thank you. He's using so much time here. The goal is 3205, I guess, if I win every game, but I'm probably going to stop pretty soon. I'm probably going to stop pretty soon. So I, I am fairly tired, actually. And I still have to do a recap of Magnus versus Jan for YouTube later. So, yeah. But I, I really don't know why Hans would do that interview either. Like, it, none of it makes sense to me. Like, I just, I don't get it. Wait, what? Oh, oh, if I take, he's got bishop b3. Funny move. That's a funny one. Looks like I'm winning, but he has bishop b3. That's pretty pretty amusing. Um, okay, c4 is, is a logical move that I'm going to play here. Because now he has to do something about the knight. And if he trades, I just take. And it's actually good or not is the question. Oh, maybe this isn't so great for me. Maybe I miss... Wait, if I take, there's also e4, which I missed too. Take this way. I mean, I assume I trade. Oh, he takes with the e pawn. Wow, that I did not expect. Now I'm gonna go f4. That kind of took me by surprise. I did not expect that one. I mean, it's gonna get very, very messy with these pawn chains in the center of the board. I'll go e5. I have no idea what's going on here. This is going to turn into a very, very messy position. Let's go here. Yeah, now I'll go f5, of course. Oh, f5 is a terrible move. Why did I do that? That's just a horrible move. Should have played like rookie four or something else. Oh, he's just going to sack the bishop. Interesting. But here, I think I have rook b1. Um... So C2, I just trade and take, and I'm fine. I don't actually believe this is good for black somehow. Go like here, because I'm going to get F6, and I think this is going to get very, very bad. So I can also just ignore the pawn. I just go like Queen G4, I go for mate. And I, I don't have to worry about this pawn, because the bishop is always blockading. So this should be a very simple win. Yeah, I'm going to go like here, hit the pawns, and then Rook B4, and... Wait, 
Wait, that hangs upon an H6. What am I missing? I don't get it. I have rook b4 for starters. And just bishop c1 back. And this should be winning very... Uh, wait, I can't take, so I just blockade. If I trade... this Trading is probably winning, but do I really want to trade? I think the answer is no. Just go here, take the pawn. Very smooth. Uh, let's get back to base with Asics. Thank you to Hikaru for the win for the 25 months. I mean, A3 should not be good. I'll go here. Assume knight d7 must be correct somewhere in here with b4 ideas. I could have played b4 right away. Probably I should have, actually, but uh, this is a little bit dubious. I guess I'll go here. Not playing this game particularly well. A uh, four. There is b4 somewhere. I mean, I can always just trade. I guess I'll just castle this time. Plays rook b1. Ah, he wants to go b4 here. That's his other idea. I think I'll play e6, standard move. He's probably going to go b4 if I had to guess. He doesn't play b4, which is kind of weird. Okay, I guess I'll go f5. Why not? Let's take. Let's go e5, of course. I should have thought more before playing this. Let's go here. Um. Wait. I assume this is good for me, but I actually don't know. A little bit of little bit of hopium to go into this. I don't know why I went into this without thinking at all. Um, it's also knight f6. Should not have gone into. This. I don't know why I did this at all. This is stupid. Go here. Not very happy with my play in this game. Of course I take. I mean, he has ED6, and I saw this, but I assumed I had some tactics here. Like Queen F7 and maybe Queen F4. Rook E7 or something. 7, Rook D8, I guess. Hopefully this isn't a big blunder, by the way, because there, there are tricks like check. I just completely overlooked that, but I think it's okay, or I hope it's okay. We'll see what happens. Um, or wait, I can drop back, I guess. This doesn't look good at all. In H8, Bishop H7, so I have to drop back. He's got rookie 7, but I trade and go knight F6, and I think it's okay. Trade. Go here. Yeah, I missed knight C7, and now I probably just lose the game out of sheer carelessness. Or he missed this, maybe. Wait, no, I'm back in the game. Wait, I tricked him. I'm back in the game. I'm back in business. Very lucky. I think, I, I think I'm actually not going to lose now. Because Rook F8, the end game's fine. Yeah, now I'm fine. Okay, how do I do this? Oh, wait, not IC5. What the heck was that? Okay, let's go here, I guess. This seems like a logical move to guard the pawn. Knight B6 was also reasonable. Go here, maybe Knight C4, maybe Rook E3. Knight c5 was also probably better. Yeah, I'm going to have to reroute the knight now. Stupid. Let's go here. We'll go here to attack the knight. Tr Basically, what I'm trying to do is get an endgame with, like, rook, rook and two versus rook and one, or rook knight and two versus rook and one. Here. Here. Could have played knight c5 too, but whatever. Ah, it's just a draw. 
Or not. Wait, he's guarding the pawn. Wait, actually, I might have blundered. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. Yeah, it's just a draw. Or, I mean, yeah, he's just going to make it? Okay. Unlucky. Let's play one more. Oh, is he done? Oh, maybe he's done for the day. I guess he's done for the day.